in this episode. Gonna be barbecuing for my family. It's all gonna be keto, of course. And the first thing we're gonna do is, of course, the barbecue ice cream challenge. It's butter. Butter makes everything better. You add your own sweetener, you add your own salt, you add your own spice, you know what I'm saying? It's just everything I ever wanted. It's barbecue, it's ice cream. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, I still didn't get it. <laughs> the, the, the connector's on fire. No. <laughs> oh. Shit. Right here. Put it right here, right so, and we close it. It is beautiful. Boom. Hi guys, I'm Mickey. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before or welcome back if you have. What I do here, all things keto. I do recipes, I do reviews, I do keto drama if that's even a real thing. Today I'm gonna be barbecuing and I just wanna say hello to all of y'all. Buenos tardes, hola, ni hao, suwadi kap. Uh, Komusta and Ohio, Ohio Gozaimas. And so today, what we're gonna be doing, gonna be barbecuing for my family. It's all gonna be keto, of course. And the first thing we're gonna do is, of course, the barbecue ice cream challenge. Yes, you heard it right. Barbecue ice cream challenge. You say, ice cream can't be barbecued. I say, incorrect. Earlier today, I got all the things wrapped up. You see all that coming up here shortly, but we're gonna do a quick on that and then we're gonna be cooking for my family and do it fast because my family are super hungry and they've been waiting around on me. So, let's get at it. I'm hungry. All right, we're getting it, we're getting it. Two hours earlier. One of the voices in my head said, I bet you can't grill ice cream. I said, barbecue right? ice cream? He said, yeah, barbecue ice cream. I'm like, hmm. Challenge accepted. I've been <laughs> trying to complete this challenge all throughout this week, trying to do this, trying to do that. How am I gonna grill ice cream? How am I gonna make it happen? What am I gonna do? How am I going to make this tasty dream become a reality? Then I realized, number one, the ice cream needs to freeze super cold. It's gotta be super hard and it's gotta go on the grill hot. I know that for sure. Somehow contained so that, you know, it's not just gonna melt right through the grate. Today is, uh, you know, family cooking day, birthday weekend kind of thing. So we will uh, cook a lot of other tasty things too. But what I'm gonna show you right now is after many trials and errors, how I wrap up the ice cream in preparation for grilling, for grilling that ice cream. Obviously, all my ice cream, all my everything is keto. If you haven't guessed this already, I'm a keto channel. I do keto, I do low carb is how I do. It just so happens I got three ice creams, homemade ice creams already made by the time uh, this idea came through and I'm just like, okay. I've never even heard of, uh, I've never heard of this. I'm sure it'll be an interesting, uh, I'm sure it'll be an interesting time. You know, maybe you learn something, maybe you try and barbecue your own ice cream. Let's see if I can. Get you guys all up close and personal here. So I got my full ready-made setup right here. Got my ice creams. Got a my triple chocolate, one of my favorites. Strawberry blast and a newcomer, which I've also almost eaten up, which is a strawberry swirl. Really liking this one. Um, but it's not going to take a lot of ice cream in order to do this. So this will be this will be fine. So my basic concept is this. What you do, are you bright enough here? Maybe you need some more light. That looks good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my favorite kind of tortillas, you know what I like. Favorite kind of tortillas, I'm gonna butter them. Salted butter because these tortillas are perfect in every other way except they are completely devoid of any kind of salt. So I'm gonna use salted butter here. 
I've got my sweetener. It's erythritol stevia mix. You could use something else if you like, but this is what I use just for a fine dust powder. And I'm gonna roll and wrap up my ice cream and then we're gonna put it in the freezer, deep freeze, and uh, we're going to ice it out. So, you know, we'll give it a go, see how it goes. And like you say, always caution, danger. You gotta watch out when guys in the kitchen, shit happens, sometimes things blow up. You never know what's gonna happen, right? So, tortilla here. See if I can stand in a way that you can see me and this stuff in the same shot. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> So, I'm gonna take some butter here, mix up that salted butter. Ooh, I love salted butter, you know. This video has been brought to you by butter. It's salty, it's satisfying, it's butter. Butter makes everything better. Oh, hell yeah. Something about that salted butter. So I take a very small amount, like a, like a teaspoon, two teaspoons, bam. Put it all over one side of the tortilla, like so. Take the salt, I mean, take the take the sweetener. You could, you know, do the whole put it over the elbow thing, you know? And just a light, a light dusting on each side because, like you say, what I like about these tortillas so much is they're such a good base for anything else. They're not sweet, they're not salty at all. It's all what you do with it. It's just hopefully like life, it's like, not too sweet, not too salty to start. You add your own sweetener, you add your own salt, you add your own spice, you know what I'm saying? You do it, you make it yours. Take another teaspoon or two. Get all the tortilla like so. Sweetener, there we go. Now we're gonna take a relatively small amount of ice cream, I'm gonna say. We can start with, say, the Strawberry Blast. Everything's frozen still, so I can't even scoop it. I'm just gonna take a slice, and then we're gonna form it up, right? Because I don't actually have that much time. Got family, uh, family getting hungry. Gotta get the stuff together. People are just like, they're waiting for stuff. They don't know they're gonna be getting barbecue ice cream, but they expect they're gonna be eaten, right? You know, so, you know, when you got hungry people waiting, you gotta make sure you take care of this. So I'm just gonna take a slice, this ice cream right here. So it's like a, I don't know what this is. Uh, it is however much you think it is. I, I don't know how much this is, but so we take this like this and we're gonna form it up and Roll it a little bit into, come on. <laughs> what? Come on, ice cream. There we go. Form it a little bit. There we go. I found rolling over that first edge really helps seal the ice cream in. And then we're gonna roll it up and over as far as we can go. Just like that. Up and over. So they pretty much are gonna connect right here. And this is what you're gonna wanna have. This is the best design I've been able to come up with. You see, it's just like, it's what you call it is the patented Mickey fold over method, AKA, I don't even know what kind of fold over method this is. So but it's beautiful. I want to eat it right now, but I'm not going to eat it right now. Um, I'm going to put this on a tray with some parchment paper so it doesn't stick to the bottom. So we're putting this back in the freezer. Everything's getting frozen together. Super deep freeze. I turn my freezer down, lowest setting, so that when this is done, it's gonna be ice cold, and so I'm gonna really be able to barbecue it. That's what I wanna do. I don't know if I can. I haven't tried it. <laughs> this is gonna be, as they say, first time for everything. It's like virgin grill. The grill is thinking, oh, we're gonna grill all this other stuff. I'm like, let's do the ice cream first. So anyway, I'm gonna take this, put it in the freezer. So like I said, going on a cookie sheet. <laughs> I know you love my camera angles. So. Like I said, this is going on cookie sheet. Like I say, parchment paper so it don't stick. 
and so we can easily take them off. So here you go. There it is. And like you say, I've been trying a lot of other things. These are all the uh, <laughs> these are all the rejects. These are like I don't know. They're like very close to my heart. So they'll be very close to my stomach. You know what I'm saying? So. But these are over here and I'm gonna fill up this side here with a bunch more of the ice cream wraps. They kind of tend to open up a little bit, these. So you wanna put them face down. So you see the roll here? Just take it, put it face down like that. You see? It's gonna, it's gonna freeze more solid, be better flat surface for the, uh, to grill and stuff. So here we are. Just cause y'all watching me, this just gives me an excuse to cook and eat more. This is. This is my entire master plan. This is step one, start a channel. Step two, you like and subscribe to my videos. And step three, I eat a whole lot more food and totally cool because I got a cooking channel. It's what I have to do, I have to eat, right? So, <laughs> think about it. Yeah, y'all best not be telling no one about my master plan, all right? Top secret. Taking this and we put it in the freezer. Y'all very tall here, I'm very short, so I'm just gonna walk this to the freezer right here. Put it right here, right so, and we close it. And it's beautiful. Boom. See y'all in a minute. Back at Le Grill. We have a beautiful, brand spanking new barbecue here today. It's gonna be the first time. I'll be gentle, it's cool. We're gonna light it up, we're gonna get it started. Let's do this. I want stuff to be really tasty, like, you know, like when you slice some, you see the mouth watering, you see the juicy steak, mm, just like that. Just like cooking from the old country, you know what I'm saying? Just beautiful, just beautiful. So, just get warmed up, you can feel it. All right, all right. We got our ice cream, made them earlier, got the, everything is wrapped up in them. We've got our triple chocolate, we've got our strawberry blast, and we've got our new, Cinnamon swirl, mm, it's gonna be good. So let's get ready, let's get at it. We got our barbecue is at over 600 degrees, it says here. Hopefully, we'll be able to barbecue this before it turns to mush, so let's do this. And actually, how I'm so so. Jake, JK, I, I have no, I have no tools. I have no tongs. I'm All that's getting edited out. You never seen. You're never gonna figure it out. So here we go. Our barbecue's at 600 degrees, temperature volcano. Here we go. Woo. Cinnamon swirl. Triple chocolate. Strawberry blast. All right, come on, baby. Just want to get a nice sear on each side and then we'll be off. Okay, 15. Woo, there we go. Looking at it, look at that. That's what I call barbecue, baby. Good old fashioned American ingenuity right there. Look at that, look at that. The best, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so, how we look at, oh, it's good, it's good. Woo, triple chocolate, looking good. Looking good, extra char, just how we like it. And number three, we're looking at Strawberry Blast. Bam, looking good. Not a spill there. That's what you call a good wrap, people. Maybe another 10 seconds and we're gonna be Gucci. How we looking, people. Woo! And there we have it, bam. 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 Now let's, let's give them a check it out. Let's see, let's give them a slice. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. It's beautiful, people. Look at this. It's just everything I ever wanted. It's barbecue. It's ice cream. It's there. Let's take some of the other one. Let's see what's up. All right. We got our 
strawberry. Bam. Ooey gooey in the middle. We might have our uh, audience if they'd like to try some stuff. We'll see, see if we get some free samples out to y'all. <laughs> we appreciate y'all's patience. Who <laughs> picked me? There's so many of you. <laughs> and number three, cinnamon. Cinnamon barbecue right there. Cinnamon swirl. Don't mind if I does that. That's what I'm talking about. I haven't eaten anything all day, so I'm super hungry. Mm. Mm. Cameraman approved. That's what I'm talking about. Our very, very patient audience has been waiting for us now. Although prime time is ice cream on the barbecue to me, we're gonna get down to the main event. We're talking meat, meat, and more meat. Here we go, people. We got pork burgers right here. We got some beef patties here, grass fed, cows being massaged, beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. They got real green stuff. Oh yeah. Got some beef hot dogs. Well, we gotta give every animal some love, right? So we got some chicken for your cerement. Beautiful. This is my favorite barbecue sauce, keto style I've ever had. So good, you can buy it at Lay Walmart. So tasty, it's like, one, one carb a tablespoon. I'm not sponsored by Jihu Smokehouse, but I'm not saying I wouldn't be. Just saying this stuff's good. We close the lid and we wait, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Real, that's real American smoke right there. Get right in your eyes. So, all right. In case you're wondering, yes, that is pepper jack cheese. I like cheese. And there's hot dogs. Get your hot dogs here, piping hot. Bam. One of these days I'll have to tell y'all about the time I was a hot dog vendor for like four or five years. Anyway, we're gonna get started on those veggies. We got our skewers here, all super keto veggies. You got your mushrooms, various colors of bell pepper here, zucchini, onions too, red and white onions, that's right. the secret to making really good veggies you got to use some kind of fat give you know uh, go figure it's a keto diet right 
So with this one, we're just gonna use more of my favorite salted butter. You can use olive oil, you can use coconut oil, whatever you like, but just get a little drizzle over everything. Ooh. How do I turn these vegetables around? There. Vegetables, you make my day. You know, gets hot in the kitchen. If you can't take the heat, gotta get out of the kitchen. Wait, I still didn't get it. <laughs> the, the the connector's on fire. No. <laughs> oh. God, well, there went my uh, my thermometer. Finishing up cooking right here for my family. Everything's just about done. Thank you so much for watching and challenge was a success. I was able to barbecue not only your regular fare of hamburgers, hot dogs, and veggies, but I was also able to barbecue ice cream. So look forward to more videos from me, more challenge videos, more review videos, keto, you name it, from wherever you are on this planet or not. Have a wonderful rest of your day, all right? See you later.